Hi, Yarn of Bees. It's me, Sandy. How are you doing? <clears throat> um, I'm not going to lie. I'm in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm got painkillers in me and I'm a little loopy. So forgive me if I seem a little off. <laughs> um, my back is just an atrocious mess at the moment. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of been off and on since the accident. Um, I am seeing a chiropractor, but yeah, my back just feels awful. So of course I had to go and do a Costco run today and probably not the best idea, but it had to be done. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> so to say the least, I'm hurting. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyways, I have a few things to talk to you about, um, or show you anyway, a few things that I've made. Uh, one of which, let's get this out of the way. I'll put it right, right there. This is not the cinnamon stitches. Um, well, it's kind of a hybrid of the cinnamon stitches summer top. I started it off like cinnamon stitches, like Jennifer's uh, top, but the rest of it, uh, I thought I'd kind of try and do my own thing. The, with the other one that I did, what happened was the center of it kept going off into one or the other direction, and it was really bugging me, and I kept having to frog it, and I was just like, Ugh. Uh, because I would miss one stitch or another. And it would just kind of whoop or whoop. And it was just really frustrating for me. So what I did was I did um, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And that really helped me keep everything in line. But, <laughs> but then... Um, instead of going in the round like you're supposed to do on hers, I ended up doing a front panel and a back panel. And then having the sides open. And then I had to sew up the sides when I was finished. Don't ask me why I did that. I don't know. Uh, it, I just did. <laughs> <clears throat> so what happened was it went... And this is now a size small. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I can't wear it. No way in hell can I wear it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's... It's pretty, but it's just not what I worked started with. But anyway, I made the whole thing out of latte cakes. Because I've got a whole bunch of latte cakes that I'm trying to um, get dealt with. Like, um, yeah. So I did the whole thing in latte. It's really pretty and it's really soft, but it's just not. It's the, the side <clears throat> goes down quite a ways. I probably should have gone up, closed it up a little bit more, but I didn't. So I think this is a shirt that's going to have to be worn with something underneath, like a long sleeve shirt or a um, cami or something. So, yeah. And it's, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> I tried. I tried. It just didn't work out for me. But anyway, um just an update uh my fairy winner mary thompson did finally get a hold of me thank goodness uh her gift is i'm um, going to be getting sent out soon um and her name is going to dana whoo <laughs> so that was stressful i was like oh no like don't you know, like I don't want her to miss out right so but she did get a hold of me so yay that's great 
Um, okay, what else? I finished the, remember I was telling you that I'm making four dog blankets for the canine unit in Nanaimo here. Uh, and so I finished the first one. I hope it's big enough. Um, um, oop. But here it is. I just did a couple of rows of the red. And then whoop, it's got the black and then the red on the bottom. Um, I'm looking at it and I'm going, uh, I don't know if it's going to be big enough for a, um, for a German Shepherd, but I'm hoping it is. So I like the way it turned out. Um, it's pretty sturdy. So, yeah. So that's that one. So now I just got to make three more. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, next is not a dog blanket. This blanket I, I wanted to make in red and white, but I ended up not having enough of the eco, um, eco brights in the white. So I had to use the yellow with the red. Oh, it's so soft. It's, I love it. This is kind of a hybrid of the Daphne Afghan, but I did the hookup or the, you know, the attaching the, the triangles differently. So here it is. And I did a black border. But hopefully you can see the way I attached it. It's um, kind of like a V stitch, but it's like a chain three. But the way I did it was, um, uh, it's hard to explain. I might do a tutorial on it, but I don't know because I'm really afraid that it's going to confuse people. Um, but I like the way it turned out. It was George's idea to do the black trim, and I'm actually glad I did. <clears throat> so, yeah. So that's that blanket. And it's a fair size. It's a nice lap gown. Oh. Okay. So that's that one. And then I did the Miss Hootie Hootenins um, challenge and it was a three color challenge. And Miss Hootie Hootenin, she picked three colors and then Mr. Hootie Hootenin picked another three colors and you had to pick which team you wanted to be on, Mr. or Mrs. And, um, and then you pick their three colors and you make something. And then um, they're going to tally up how many people they have in their team and whoever has the most wins. And then what that person's going to do is, whether it's Mr. or Mrs. Hootie, uh, they're going to do a draw for their team. And uh, I'm, I was so excited to do this. And then I realized the color schemes weren't that like I it, Mr. Hootie's um, color schemes I could not get figure out a pa uh, figure out a project to do with those colors that would really look good um, and then Mrs. Hootie Hootman were colors that I don't normally use <laughs> but I chose her because you know I gotta st stick with my girl so um this is what I came up with, and I, I'll throw in a picture too, but uh, it's a big um, shawl, and it has tassels on it. goes all the way around. It's a fair size shawl. But what I did is, you see that sparkle? Um... 
can you see the sparkle in the in the yellow as well now the gray doesn't have the sparkle so what it was is her colors was um orange yellow wait excuse me sparkly orange <laughs> sparkly yellow and gray um like a darker gray smoky gray or whatever so i was like all right i had this orange <laughs> and i went uh-uh uh so what i did was i went with burnt orange i have burnt orange over here too so i went with a burnt orange and the yellow I went with was um, like a really light, faded kind of yellow. But I found that when I put the sparkle in, what I used was the spangle sparkle that I got from Premier. Uh, I had no idea what I was going to do with that stuff. And then this came up and I was like, yeah, I can use my sparkle. So what it happened... <laughs> was it made it look, I, I really think that this shawl looks like um, uh, East, East Indian spices, you know, like cumin um, and um, curry, you know, kind of colors. So I thought it, it kind of looked like East Indian spices. So um yeah so it's a big big shawl big shawl and i think it turned out pretty good the more i look at it the more i'm liking it but they are definitely not my colors by any means but um but for what it is i think it turned out quite well uh it's definitely big enough that you can wrap around you Oops, I keep forgetting I have my mic on. Sorry. You can really wrap it around your body. So that's good. So I'll put that here. Um, yeah, so hopefully our team wins. I haven't heard it. Oh, I think it's, we've got like another week or something until we find out. So we'll see. <laughs> um, oh, I got one more thing I made and I forgot to bring it over. Hold on. Okay. So you remember I was telling you guys that I was making a box of, of stuff for my daughter for her house. And I have dishcloths and scrubbies and um, towel toppers and stuff like that in there. And I decided that I would make her some pillow covers. So, or pillows. Uh, so I, I just got in my box of... Um, Lion Brand Respun yarns. So I decided to make her the pillows out of that. So there's the one, the one side, and there's the other. And I made two of them. So. Yeah, so I made those and the colors, the color was, <laughs> what is the color? It's a teal color anyway, of course, oh, Alpine. Yeah, the color was Alpine and I thought, oh, 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 maybe, oh, maybe I used a gray. 
Did I just use a... Um, I think I may have used Bernat. Great. Yeah, I think I used Bernat um, Premier, Premium uh, Gray for the for this. So this is the respun. But I thought they turned out pretty nice. You know, now that I'm looking at them, they may be a little greener than blue because her her house is like a gray and a blue. But I don't, I'm hoping they're going to be okay. I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> okay, I'll put those back in the box. Oh, yay. Okay, now I went to the post office this morning before I did all my Costco fiasco. And I got a card from Darla, the yarn owl. She had mentioned to me that she had a little something coming to me. And I got it today. So... <clears throat> She's got a little owl on the back. I opened the uh, opened the envelope, but I haven't looked inside. Don't have my glasses in here either. Darn it. Oh, I think she made this card. Oh, gratitude is attitude. Look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, Darla. Oh, created by Crafty Yarn Owl Darla on YouTube. Yeah, she made this. She's so creative. Oh, I just love it. Thank you. Oh, hi, Sandy. I saw this, these online and thought that you might like them. Thanks for all you do for our yarny community. You are appreciated. Crafty Yarn Owl Darla. Oh. Thank you, Darla. She's got another little owl. And she's got something right here. Let's see. I don't want to wreck the card. Oh, okay. There we go. It's all wrapped up in red tissue paper. Oh, I'm excited. <gasps> oh, Darla. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, you guys. Look at the... Oh, look at these. Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can... Look. It's a honeycomb. Look at that. She's got one, two, three, four of those. And then look. Look at the bees. They're pink bees. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, these are going to be stitch markers. Look. Aren't, yes, I got rid of my nails. Don't look at my nails. They're terrible. Um, oh, those are so cute. They're so pretty. Oh, look. Oh, these are beautiful, Darla. Thank you so much. Oh, I am definitely going to use these. Oh, that's awesome. They would make great earrings, too. Oh, wow. That is so sweet of you. Oh. It's so nice when, you know, you have friends on YouTube and, and yarny friends that, you know, see something and they think of you and, uh, and then they send it to you. That is such, such a special thing. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, love you. Oh, the, those, I love those. I can't wait to use them. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and I love this card. I'm going to put this one up with Cindy's. Oh, I can't turn around right now. I, I'm, I'll put it up there um, when I'm done. Oh, thank you so much, Darla. And 
Thank you everybody for joining me and thank you for sending me well wishes. I truly appreciate it. Um, you know, it's getting into a car accident is not what everybody wants, but sometimes it happens and you know, you gotta deal with it, right? I, I never did hear if the motorcyclist was okay. I mean, I guess I won't. I got the police report in the mail, but it didn't, it just basically told what happened. It didn't tell, you know, at the outcome. So, but, uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, I guess that's it. I, don't forget, uh, to watch, um, uh, Dana at Wonderless Crochet on the 25th of July to find out who the grand prize winner is going to be uh, for the Christmas and July Fairies 21. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I won't even mention that yet because I haven't got the package. <laughs> Sandy from Left is Right and I have something coming up and I'm, I'm still waiting for my package to come. So uh, we're hoping that it was going to be August 1st, but it may get pushed back a little bit. So um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, so that's it, I I guess, because uh, that's all I've done so far. I feel like, you know, like I've been crocheting and not getting anything finished. I hate that feeling. I don't feel accomplished <laughs> at all you know, so, oh well. Anyway, okay, I love you all. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.